guys welcome back to another video it's so good to be back so today we are going to start with module 5 of antenna and wave propagation so the first topic that we'll be discussing is log periodic dipole array so what do you mean by log periodic dipole array well let's find out so log periodic dipole array just like the name suggests it consists of an array of antennas but before we go into that we need to know what a log periodic antenna is so a log periodic antenna is an antenna in which the structure or the geometry of the antenna is varied such that the electrical properties of that antenna is repeated as a function of the logarithm of the frequency. So that is a broadband antenna in which the geometry of the antenna structure is adjusted such that all the electrical properties be it the radiation pattern or the impedance. So all these electrical properties of that antenna are repeated periodically with the logarithm of the frequency so here for every repetition the structure size changes by a constant scale factor with which the structure can expand or contract so let me get it simple for you so if a particular antenna has got certain properties at 1 gigahertz frequency so imagine that this particular antenna has got certain electrical properties at 1 gigahertz then this antenna will have the same electrical properties at 10 gigahertz taking the logarithm of the frequency with respect to base 10 it will have the same electrical properties at 10 gigahertz and similarly it will have the same electrical properties at 100 gigahertz so here as you guys can see the electrical properties are same as a function of the logarithm of the frequency so this basically is what you mean by a log periodic antenna and hence achieving a log periodic antenna with an array of antennas is referred to as log periodic dipole array as simple as that so that is the principle of log periodic antenna with an array of antennas is called a log periodic dipole array as simple as that so here we take an array of antennas and each of these elements of this particular array will have the same property same electrical properties as a function of the frequency so here it is achieved by changing the geometry or the geometrical structure of each of these array elements so how is that possible well let's find out so the structure of a log periodic dipole array so what we have to keep in mind is the fact that it consists of parallel dipoles and an angle alpha bounds the length of these dipoles so that is if we take a particular point of origin O let us assume this as an origin point so let us take a particular angle as alpha so let's take this angle to be alpha then the log periodic dipole array will consist of parallel dipoles which is bounded by this particular angle alpha like this so this is a log periodic dipole array of antennas which has got parallel dipoles like this so let these be the lengths that is l1 l2 l3 etc up to ln plus 1 let these be the lengths of each of these individual dipoles and let the distance of these particular dipoles from the origin be represented by r so this would be r1 so this would be r1 r2 etc up to r of n plus 1 so this is how a particular log periodic dipole array is constructed so now here the one important factor that we have to keep in our mind is what you call as a scale factor so here the scale factor is given as tau is equal to rn divided by rn plus 1 this is the scale factor and it must be less than 1 so that is the scale factor tau is rn divided by rn plus 1 and the scale factor can also be written as tau is equal to ln divided by ln plus 1 that is in terms of the length of these particular individual dipoles so this guys is how we construct a log periodic dipole array of antennas so now if a particular transmission line is fed to this particular point like this if there is a particular transmission line then we observe these to move in a zigzag manner like this 
so that is what happens so there are three regions for this log periodic dipole array of antenna so what are those three regions well let's find out so based on the length l there are three regions so first is the inactive transmission line region so here the length l is less than lambda by 2 or it is the region where the length of the dipole is less than lambda by 2 here the elements in this region provide capacitive impedance and the element spacing in this region is comparatively small therefore the current also here is very small so that is the inactive transmission line region then comes the active region where the length of the dipole is equal to lambda by 2 or the resonant length so here the dipole offers resistive impedance so here the current is of a very large value and is in phase with the base voltage and last comes the inactive stop region where the length of the dipole is greater than lambda by 2. Here the dipole has got inductive impedance and the current is small. So this thus sums up log periodic dipole array of antennas. So I hope you guys now have a clear idea of what you mean by a log periodic dipole array. So thank you guys for watching and I'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.